these two late night talk show hosts have in common other than basically being a means to advertise whatever movie of the week is coming out, right? Well, for starters, they're not Ellen DeGeneres. Hello, everyone. I am still Becca Random 42. Yes, I'm having to hide a bandage from, you know, screw it. You guys are going to see it anyway. Light bulb fell. I'm fine. Everything's good. I have to hide a bandage from that. Still your favorite YouTube harpy. Here we go. James Corden and Trevor Noah. Both people I don't watch. I stopped watching The Late Late Show when Craig Ferguson left, or actually probably a little bit before that. Once they changed studios was kind of enough for me. Even a little bit slightly before that, once they had Secretariat, and then this person and that person, and every person coming out of the woodwork. Yeah, I really stopped watching late night TV, and I already had issues with it being basically, like I just said, it's there to bring out an actor like a, like a Brie Larson complaining about a lightsaber or something. That's like one of the perks of being a Jedi is you get to build your own lightsaber. <laughs> Crazy. I was like, what? I just have things coming out of my hands. Like, I need a lightsaber. <laughs> Yeah, just to advertise whatever movie that they're going to be in that week. And in this day and age where pretty much everybody is stuck at home, not really knowing how to pay for everything, it's nice to see that some talk show hosts, at least a couple of the late night ones, are actually doing the right thing. Unlike Ellen DeGeneres, who did not, and I know she's not late night, she's afternoon, she's daytime. Is that the problem? Is it just the daytime people who are a little weird? I don't know. I don't know. Keep in mind, I have criticized pretty much everybody during the great toilet paper shortage of 2020. I am Cornholio. I need TV for my bum hole. <laughs> but sometimes I criticize more than others, and I do want to make a video where I point out when they do something halfway decent. Well, you ready for the good news? Here we go. Boom. Good hosts, James Corden and Trevor Noah, are paying their furloughed staffers' salaries. That's, that I can applaud, that I can appreciate, and no, I'm not sitting here saying that every rich person needs to take care of somebody less fortunate than them, but what I'm saying is, maybe, maybe in something completely unprecedented like this, it's just the right thing to do temporarily, and it's not like you can't set up some sort of charitable organization, make it a tax shelter, say, hey, I'm putting all this money into this charity, wink, wink, so that my staff members don't have to use government money or unemployment or anything like that, wink, wink, and then they get a tax break, the staffers get money, we all win. I don't know why people don't think about this stuff. I don't know why people don't realize things like this. People like Ellen, who certainly could have. This article comes to us from Vulture. I don't usually go to Vulture, but there's another article. We're going to be talking. Oh, you want a sneak peek? You want a sneak peek? It's this one. We will be talking about that vampire movie in another video. But I did want to call out something that was good for a change, something that I'm happy about, something that makes me have a little bit of faith in humanity. When we have all these celebrities going around crying about feeling like they're in jail in their mansions and singing about fried fish. Let's go eat some fried fish, fried fish. Come on, road, I can go. From their giant mansions, sometimes it's nice to see something halfway decent out of these people. And I want to at least say, yes, a lot of celebrities are doing good. You have people like Alex Winter who've paid for people's groceries. You have people like Ricky Gervais who are doing a lot for charity. Lady Gaga raised millions and millions for charities. We have a lot of celebrities doing good things right now. And I don't want to just come across like a hater saying, oh, these celebrities are rich and they don't. Clearly, I mean, I'm not going to be turning away money and I don't think anybody else should. Obviously, we live in a society where, yes, if you work for something, yeah, you're you're entitled to that, especially if you work for it, especially if you earned it. And of course, same thing goes for me. If people think I'm worthy of a $100 super chat, I'm not going to refuse it, obviously, because I do view YouTube as a job because it is the source of income. It is the only source of income I have right now. And when I see something like this, I have to applaud it. And I'm not saying that all celebrities should be broken pennies like us. Obviously, that's never been what I've been trying to say. I do appreciate this, that they kind of are looking out for some of the little guys because, yeah, when I worked retail, we would pretty much be ignored by the higher ups. Anyway, let's get into this article. Well, Ellen DeGeneres has reportedly turned her show's staffers against her due to her lack of compassion and loyalty amid the, you know what, 
Two of Late Night's most prominent hosts have pledged their full support to theirs. Per Variety, James Corden and Trevor Noah are both personally paying the salaries of the Late Late Show and Daily Show staffers, respectively, who have been furloughed due to the show switching to an indefinite at-home format. Variety reports that Noah will be paying 25 crew members until production begins to ramp back up in the television industry, while Corden will be signing paychecks to around 60 workers, which will likely to be at least mid-5 figures a week. It was also reported last month that Jimmy Kimmel, in addition to the duo, was paying his stagehands out of his own pocket when the you-know-what shut down production of Jimmy Kimmel Live. And what about other late night hosts, you ask? Time and pressure will tell. So it is just a quick little article, but this is one little thing. It goes a long way. It shows that you have some basic compassion for the people around you. And I can always applaud that as somebody who doesn't see that a lot in this day and age. As somebody who's been on the receiving end of some pretty terrible things. And you know what? I can dish it too. I've spewed my fair share of vitriol from time to time. And of course, if you just see me in 10 minute chunks or five minute chunks, you might see that. But I do want to commend this and say good on you guys. Thank you so much for being decent. I am Mecha Random 42 Nobody's going to see this video because it's a positive one. And I will see you guys on the next video, live stream or wherever. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.